Baby Cakes, we have a very special, unique episode today on our favorite topic, aliens. And there's a bit of crypto here related too. There has been a leak where everyone has been wondering if there are alien bodies, how the hell hasn't anybody leaked it yet? Well, on Reddit, there's been a scientist who worked on them, has come out and has given extremely detailed information and I spent my time reading all of it and summarizing it here for you. And this thing is going to continue to ramp up. They've even leaked the actual lab <laughs> where it is. Now, obviously, don't go raiding it, friends, unless you want a bullet in the head. Okay, so it's very easy to manipulate people when you got a gun to their head, as you're going to find out. So society is going through something special, friends. We're going to go through so many details. There's even religion talks here. There's some juicy information. So... We are going through what we call an ontological shock. And if you squint here, we get to see what that actually means. You can see here the state of being forced to question one's worldview. So we have so much juicy information. It's going to make you think about a lot of things. And what we what's happening, we can't stop. You see, friends, ultimately, at the end of the day, we're here for crypto. But this is really interesting. It actually relates. You see, back in the early Bitcoin days, this is what the conferences look like. This is Bitcoin at $100. Look, there's one dude with a ponytail. There's someone else falling asleep. There's probably just people sleeping there. No one really cares. This is Andreas Antonopoulos talking about the concept of Bitcoin. Okay? A lot of ideas came, but nobody took them seriously. You know, this is crazy to think that this is what it was like. So we all know crypto is changing the world. That's what we're here for. And the beautiful part is you can actually take a financial position with this. When it comes to like UFOs existing, whether they exist or not, which obviously they do, but it doesn't like it changes you spiritually. Maybe you're like, oh, I've gained knowledge, but you can't buy more apples tomorrow. You can't actually improve your life. Really? You know, if you're poor and you want to look after your family and to escape the rat race, you can't do anything. So this is how me, as a contrarian, I've been watching this, thinking it was crazy. It all started from Joe Rogan interviews. You can see this. Like I can tell the UFO community is exiting a bear market. Okay, If you look at all the UFO meetings, they look exactly like Bitcoin people from 2012. This is the early Bitcoin chart, 10 cents, 20 cents. There were so many people around these times who were saying, it's going to change the world. It's this new cool thing. We're going to take on the government. No one believed them. You know? Bitcoin and crypto itself is an ontological shock. People going and questioning, like, what is money? How does that even, like, fit in everything? How come it's just all this imagination stuff, right? So this is even going a step beyond that. So this is all about our existence, okay? Now, I could see a lot of similarities. The early crypto people, everyone thinks they're crazy. We even thought they're crazy. All of us listening here were like, yeah, it's still a bunch of nutters. <laughs> and don't we wish we listened back then because we could actually change our lives, okay? There's all these alien stories and all these ancient texts and all these other things that have been going around, stories passed down from generations and continents around the world. They're really just stories. Like me and you, we're still, we're still trapped, man. We're still, in the, we're still in the rat race, you know what I mean? We're literally in this little room. The government's like, ah, you got to work. You got to do all this stuff. You got to pay taxes. So we can't actually really do anything. But what we have here it's quite intriguing. So at the end of the day, a lot of people would always say, and I wanted to know too, why do they even keep it a secret? And we know the answer. The answer is because of the fiat money system. That's why. I've explained it here for you. The UFO disclosure story is actually related to crypto and why we exist in the first place, right? Because the only reason why there's a cover-up is due to oil and energy. Because what backs the US dollar? You see this money supply? This is the M2SL chart. I can put it on a log chart here, friends, and I can put it on a three-month chart. Look at this since the 1950s. The supply is going up. You're thinking like, how does the supply go up? How does society keep, keep working? And that's because the people in the society, in our economies, we bid on the dollar. We bid on fiat by working for a wage. And other countries who aren't, in the native US dollar country or other fiat countries, they they have to bid for the dollar because they have to buy oil and energy. 
And that's why America had to go invade all these other countries out there when they were trying to get off the dollar. They're basically saying, hey, we're going to go make our own network effect. And America's like, nah, uh, uh, you got to use our US dollar, baby. That's what you do to maintain power. That's how you have to maintain dominance. So the US dollar, it's backed by a pricing in oil and energy at the end of the day. Okay, they always say, that's why they say as a joke, they go, it's not even really a joke. They go, it's backed by men with guns. They say, you're going to use this and that's what it is. And that's really what it actually means, right? So there were scientists who made other more efficient forms of energy, but it never really caught on. Why? Because they kept getting killed because the trillions and trillions of dollars, the whole US sanctity, the sanctity of the US dollar and all its power and dominance comes down to this. So of course, now it makes sense. You, I was always wondering why. Why can't they just tell me that aliens are real? This is like when I first started figuring it all out. And I was like, oh, okay, now it makes sense. It all makes sense. It all comes down to money and power. It's just like if you were Binance Exchange, if you could keep everybody's eyes closed and not tell them about Uniswap, you would say Uniswap doesn't exist. You'd ban everybody about talking about Uniswap. You're like, no, you got to trade on our exchange because Uniswap is taking money. It's the exact same thing. It's what humans do. We're part of a tribe. And of course, Mr. Alexander Bands is saying the aliens will pump our bags. Someone's got to pump our bags, friends. We've been waiting so long. <laughs> and we really are experiencing an ontological shock. Lockheed Martin and other the US, the US military industrial complex, okay? I can tell their bear market's over. You know, friends, people in the UFO community, they are so jaded by it. They are following the Wall Street cheat sheet. They are in disbelief. I even said it, the, cons the sentiment is rallying to disbelief now. Things are being leaked and they don't even believe it anymore because they've been in a bear market for so long. They've been looked at like the weirdos for like 50, 60, 70 years. Everyone's like, you are absolutely crazy. South Park made all the videos about them, right? So it's funny, Lockheed Martin, they used to say aliens don't exist. You know what they now say? Uh, he goes, it, they say it's better to be addressed by the US government. So like basically like it's cracking from within. They're like, uh-oh, too many things are moving now. We can't kill everybody, you know. When they can off a few people here and there, they did and they do. But when there's too many of us, because we're the rats in the system. But guess what? The system doesn't even work. If the rats leave, that's why the that's why they have to keep printing money, friends. That's why when I talk about BlackRock and all of them trying to get control, it's not conspiracy. It's true. It's true. This is how the whole system works. But it doesn't mean we quit. When some people learn about this, most people, they go, oh, well, I'm just going to give up. What we say is, no, we can win. We are winning. We understand how the game works. That's why. Long-term vision, baby. Even Mr. Dave Black, he says, yeah, everyone thinks it's a psyop. Lol, we can't win. It's exactly true. Everybody thinks it's a psyop, friends. It's it's funny because like it really is the Wall Street cheat sheet in action, which is right here. I can show you right now. We can see this, this Wall Street cheat sheet. We are rallying out of this UFO bear market. Unfortunately, this phase for crypto, we're only going to last for like a year, one year. They've been in it for 40 to 80 years. They've been so depressed. Now we're actually, if you go check the polls, friends, I'm not making this up. 65 to 70% of people believe they're like extraterrestrial beings and we're not alone in the universe and they're actually here on earth with us. Like we share this earth with them. Like not 20%, like literally 60, 70% of people. But everybody looking at the polls are like, nah, it's psyops, no one cares. <laughs> it's just because it's because we are new and fresh. We're the young blood and we're like, yeah, of course it makes sense. But all the older generation, they've just been used and abused by the government, friends. That's what happens when I guess, you know, when just you've been in a system that just convinced you that you can't win for so long. So what about this alien scientist, dude? Or girl, don't even know, right? Their, well, don't even know their gender. They leaked this information, right? And it's very extensive. Like it, it's vetted. They were there. They, you know, Reddit, Reddit, super curious, super like paranoid about everything. They are. They brought in their own PhD molecular biologists, and people are trying to ask this person questions, and they were like 100% to the T. So this is crazy, right? So in here, they call them EBOs, exobiospheric organism, okay? We'll just call them gray aliens. They don't like using these words because of all the memes, but for us, not only is it a joke and fun thing, but we know it's real at the same time. But because they've been used and abused, 
They can't handle these words. It's almost the same way when we call a crypto a casino and a Ponzi. Like, yeah, we're still in the game. We can just accept it, but they can't, right? They actually leaked the exact lab, Lab BSL3. I think it was a specific, it was like level three, and they said there's horizontal fridges, and it's like minus 80 degrees in there. That's where this person worked on it. But the date, right? So I've got actually got the location. And funny Reddit people, what they did was they went and changed, they all spammed and they changed the the uh, the Google Maps display image to put some naked aliens <laughs> on the picture. So everybody's having fun. Like we already know that, you know, the lid's being pulled off basically. And um, this person walked on them, worked on them quite a long time ago from le- date late 2000s to mid 2010s. So what happened was we advanced DNA technology and were able to find out more information about how to splice these things and how to look at like the information of their DNA and whatever. There's some deep stuff about the food, body, religion, and just some other cool things to go through, right? So genetics, but they basically, this person said, right, their genetics are like exactly like ours. Most of it, a lot of it is based on DNA. And he said it was puzzling to them first because they are from another planet. So biosphere with different biochemicals. You'd think that's weird. How come you're from another planet? Why are your internals using the same stuff? So basically everybody had concluded and they're reading this from memos and reports and stuff like over decades, right? Saying that our biosphere and theirs shared a common ancestry. So what does that mean? Does that mean we used to be part of two planets next to each other and something zipped off? Obviously we don't know, or maybe they do know, but this is just obviously very compartment compartmentalized and not everything is put together. So not everybody has all the info in the government. And, you know, on the Reddit thread, you can go through about their interview process and there was like a lot of shady stuff going on, but I weeded all of that out. I just gave you the juicy information here, right? So also more interesting info. So their cells are compatible with human cells and we're compatible with theirs. They got 16 chromosomes. There was a lot of extensive PhD talk. We don't understand these three-letter words, all these alphabet soup stuff, right? But it's basically concluded. So if you go watch any of the 100-plus UFO leak videos all over YouTube, you will see that all the government people who have been coming out, they've always called these things as clones, which is what this base, this, this scientist basically confirmed that said they're, they're genetically engineered clones because everything in them looks like a copy-paste, just basically spammed everywhere, right? And of course, their bodies, it, it looks like, you know, everything that South Park and everything that we draw on there, this is one of the, what they call the species. This is what um, what they look like. 150 centimeters in height, two big eyes, night vision. Their skin's got some film around it, right? They've got a bigger brain. It's a different shape as well. Four fingers, no nails. They have basically no booty hole. So this is going to be very funny next time because in every single abduction story, in every single story for the past like 80 years, is also interesting, friends, even in the Bible, okay, they say when the weird things come out, it smells like sulfur, right? It smells like really smelly, poopy smell. And this person, this scientist basically explains why. It's because they don't have any bowels in there. They're excreting. They're basically pooping from their skin. That's why they're actually just smelly, poopy. <laughs> that's why. That explains why they've been smelling like poop this whole time. So, and everybody says it's a very strong, distinct smell, right? So, their biological system, interesting how they breathe, similar to birds because they have such a giant brain. They've got to get in a lot of blood and oxygen there. Their brown, their blood is more brown. It's got a lot of plasma, copper, and sugar. And it's funny, I mentioned here before, they have no poopy hole. They stink like ammonia, so they poop through their skin, which is very interesting as well. Okay? Now, as well, how do they eat? How do they eat? they just here for a good old drinky time. And he also mentioned they only drink liquid carbs, rich in protein and sugar. And also interesting about their immune system, they don't have an adaptive immune system like us where we're storing information so we don't like die off. So that's how they basically, the scientists basically concluded they are definitely just clones with a short lifespan because they don't need an immune system to kind of like last decades and decades or however long their time frame is, right? Because they're just here for one task And that's pretty much it, right? So also, I'm going to show you some funny stuff from South Park too. So so someone asked them, this this person, so this scientist has quickly tell you, they they did not know they could be tracked to their IP. So as soon as they got told, someone's like, dude, you know, this is uh, super sensitive stuff. Like they can track if they really want. And this person got super freaked out and they just deleted everything and they went away. So, but this is the information they were able to answer before everything went away. So they got asked here, so someone I said, are they, they're basically bioengineered worker bees. So basically clones, right? And the answer is yes. They said, 
They are disposable and unable to live here without technological support, right? So it's very scientific science talk, right? So they're also ephemer ephemeral, right? Ephemeral. And I have to look up what that means. It means a short lifespan. So they're just basically one and done. They're basically pump and dump, friends. They're literally just meme coins. <laughs> just one purpose, one little show, and we are over onto the next one, okay? They're only here to accomplish a task. Do you want to know what's very funny? When I used to watch South Park, okay, all the episodes, I, I used to see these alien beings, and I had no idea why do they make them look like this. I thought it was just a guess. Well, South Park creators, very intelligent people. If you go back, if you look at all the abduction stories from aliens for the past 80 years, from Brazil, Argentina, from Africa, from America, okay, from different parts of Asia, people who have been abducted, this is actually the top alien. This is actually the owners, okay? So they say these guys don't come down. They only send the clones, the little gray dudes with the big black eyes, right? The actual owners, they are the ones in control and they have large heads. They got no hair. There's obviously different ones that look like them. Um, I mean, who knows what to believe, friends? Are they just psyopsing everybody, right? Because, you know, we can go to a jungle and we can put a gorilla out there, a little baby gorilla, and we can make it look like a bit distinct features, right? So we can trick gorillas. Are they tricking us? We don't really know all the full answers. Who knows if we ever know? Who knows if they even, even really want to tell us, okay? So this is where... It gets even deeper. So, so this scientist, they had to get briefed on stuff. And there's no Wikipedia. He said he spent like weeks and weeks and weeks just in these archives, just boring archives, just learning and catching up on everything just to get bred in. Obviously, they put a gun to your head. They say, well, <laughs> if you tell anybody about this, it's over, right? So it's been a long time. So they basically said, can you talk to us about the religion aspects in the document you were briefed on? And so the scientist says, Ali so EBOs, aliens, they believe that the soul is not an extension of the individual, but it's more like a field, just like gravity. It gathers in the presence of life. There's actually more detailed information here. Now, this is crazy because a lot of UFO leakers, and I never knew what to believe this part. No, no one in the UFO community did. Uh, there's been a lot of leaks from like guys on the deathbeds, people who worked in the government, ex-CIA on the deathbeds. Literally, these guys literally have three months to live. Three months to live. I'm not even joking, friends. Like, former CIA age, like, these people, like, this is their final days. Their final days. They can barely speak, and they come and they leak this information. And what they were saying in the 80s and 90s and stuff, it all matches exactly with what this person has said. This person basically said when one of them, when they crashed, one of them was still alive, and they could communicate with them and gather info before they passed away, I guess before they kind of figure out, hey, you want some sugar water? <laughs> Which is kind of funny to think about, right? You made it all the way here. You don't have any spare sugar water. But it's also very interesting, right? I linked it here. I can link it in the description for you, friends, as well. It goes a bit deep and it kind of basically explains, I know there's a lot of text here, basically explain that when a lot of life cells, so what me and you are made of, when a lot of us are put together, you get basically a soul so anything with a lot of life cells becomes a soul now this is the obvious this is where this is where the spooky or the story part comes and this is where we don't know what to believe because this person this scientist is saying what the community's always kind of been told by the leaks they basically said that their goal is to basically figure out how to level up okay and they use a different word okay and I'm going to show it with you right here. So they talk about life experiences, sentient beings will induce the field. It's a positive feedback loop. So this person, they said, I'm not an expert in religion or all these, but they were getting these from the reports. And they mentioned this. They go, look at this. We're going to read this part together. They said, this belief compels them to seed life, shape it, nurture it, monitor it, and influence it for the ultimate purpose of creating this apotheosis. And I looked at what apotheosis means, and it means the highest point in the development of something, the elevation of someone to a divine status. So this is where you're like, well, this is what all those spooky stories have been saying. They said, well, they kind of made us, or did they? They made us, they engineered us. And what's the point? 
I don't know. Maybe this is how you get to a higher dimension. This is like thousands of years beyond us, friends. We are literally just still little monkeys with peanut brains. We're just trying to hold our crypto bags. To like, Please pump some, pump them up because most of you just don't want to work anymore. Right? This is how this is how beyond any of our comprehension most of this is. It also ties into a lot of philosophy, right? And a lot of these answers. Are we ready for them or not? You know, there's a lot of things to think about here. There's also, so the person, he said, I don't think they were created with long-term survival. So he's talking about the clones himself. Now, this scientist himself, he doesn't know the UFO law. He just went in, he's a PhD, and he got told with a gun to his head, hey, you got to work on this stuff, tell us all the answers. It's everybody else filling in the blanks. So he doesn't know all the ancient stories. He doesn't know or care about all the other UFO leakers or what the people said in the 80s and 90s and all the other deathbed confessions and all these other things that have been happening, right? So but these some of these like smart people have replied saying like you've laid out an extensive explanation of the metaphysical belief about souls, right? So these these alien dudes, they call us containers. And everyone's always asked a container of what? And I guess we guess it's a container of a soul, but really what is it? Now they just say it's life cells, but what life cells? You know, can a plant have a soul? Can a chair have a soul? There's a lot of things, friends. There's a lot of also interesting things about the UFO tech. A lot of the Bob Lazar, a lot of people who have mentioned that they've worked on the, on the UFO ships. When the ship crashes, it changes color. It's no longer alive. They say the metal in it is breathing. So this is obviously like hundred thousands of years beyond what we can even do right now, right? Just literally monkeys playing with a stick. So people also ask him, and there's really, really interesting info you want to go through this more. They also ask him, why haven't you testified? And the guy literally is like, ah, ah, ah. He goes, there's no way I'm going in front. He goes, he's afraid it's a honey trap, which I mean, think about it. If they brought you into a room and they said, hey, you tell anyone about this, we're going to put a bullet through your head. We're going to kill your whole family. You're not going to go in front of the television anymore. You're like, that's it. I'm just a cute little scientist in my lab coat. I'm just, you know, doing my little DNA structures. I want to go home, eat some apples and bananas, okay? So I want to ask you, what do you think? Like there are information coming out. So David Grush coming out. A lot of people think he's psyops. He's not. There's actually slowly, there's been Republican, there's been like uh, Republican and Democrat politicians coming out saying, hey, we saw it. We, we actually saw the stuff now. I just I can't tell you what it is or where, but we just, we, we actually can confirm it. We, we saw it. So this thing's going to be a long process. I mean, this, that's why I've, ontological shock our whole world of what we think it is you know you know we're in the we're in the crypto ponzi system people think like for things to have value you've got to be able to see them like we've already done that one level up so i guess this is the next thing right but really what does your life really change friends you know you're probably going to ask how do we even know this person's legit but this is very interesting okay not one single person was able to find an inconsistency a lie or a blip in the story. In fact, look at this happened. In the thread, other molecular biologists are really smart dudes. Oh, trust me, they got lab coats and they got plenty of pens in their front pocket. They came in and asked him questions, right? So that he's definitely a PhD. And look at this, someone even said here, let's go through this. There's a way to organize DNA, some structure thing. I'm not really uh, fluent with it. And they said, cluster L. So they said, damn, OP. So the guy making the, the these allegations, the scientist who's leaked everything, he goes, wow, you're really old school to know this. And everyone says, this cluster W is a sequence alignment algo that was commonly used at the time OP says he was actually active. Molecular biologists today would use a newer algorithm. This reminds me of like Satoshi using an old type of, you know, structure to do the cryptos or the, the SHA-256 or whatever it is. So people who are like in the know with the cypherpunks, only someone deep within the know would actually have an idea about it. So pumpkins to conclude. Are aliens real? Well, obviously, we can tell it right now because we have no prejudice. We don't really care, okay? I thought everybody was crazy my whole life. And it's just like many people I speak to were like, well, we completely ignored it, thought it was cuckoo stuff. And then you watch all the information back to back. You're like, you know what? One story, all right, you're a crazy person. Five stories, okay, maybe swamp gas. But 4,000 stories spanning over 2,000 years across many continents with drawings and pictures and everything kind of adding up all together. And now all this coming together, like, okay, you get the point, okay? But at the end of the day, we're still going to remain skeptical because no one should trust the government, okay? The, we already know. For, <laughs> they, did, they threw a zombie virus at us, okay? The, you know, the 9-11, that big building that, that seriously disappeared, okay, that didn't get hit. There's just... There's too many things. I mean, the CIA came out and said they had an involvement to take out JFK. Like, there's just, I'm trying to think about which ones aren't real, you know? So this is just something to think about. 
at the end of the day, don't forget, friends, okay? We're just here. We know, look, I love aliens. We learn a lot about it. But we're here for one thing, okay? Whether they're real or not, I'm sure they are. What, how does our life change tomorrow? Okay, yes, yeah, spiritually, we're healed and it's great. It's amazing. But you still got to get up and work. You, you and me, we can't change the system. We can only change our rank in the system. So we're here to play this, crypt, play this crypto cycle, okay? And maybe, maybe we will be lucky enough to read the crowd, the emotions, and see the train coming, and we will be rewarded for our long-term delaying of gratification and participating in the crypto industry that's actually pushing humanity forward. Let me know what you think in the comments, friends. Like, subscribe, bell button, all. This has been an exclusive video for you, baby dolls. Catch you in the next one. Oh, yeah. And you can tell mum and dad. Actually, don't tell mum and dad that aliens are real. <laughs> Let them hear it on TV. I'll catch you in the next one.